uh, persistence, resilience is is the most one of the most important uh, habits. I think um, a high performance activity, particularly in sales, because uh, you know in across industries and in many regions, sales people are faced with greater challenges. It's, it's a tough time. Um, customers are more informed, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, they have choice. Competition has, in most cases, intensified. Uh, and we, in general, as a society, have less time. We're, we're, we're busier. Business is less personal than it once was because of these reasons. So having a disciplined and structured approach is important, but also understanding uh, how to set goals correctly. Uh, and how to know how far to push with each client. How long do you um, do you stay in pre-sales for? Is it is it a week? Is it a month? Is it is it two years? Um, and not having an understanding of where you are within the, within the buying cycle um, is a very ineffective way of, of creating a sales process. Persistence has a lot to do with your motivation, your self motivation, your ability to keep going, to overcome adversity, um, and importantly in sales, it's about sticking to a process and actually seeing it through. So. Most people, it's very general, but I see in, in a lot of teams and through consulting with, with various people that uh, a lot of people don't know where the, the finishing line is. The goals are always moving. So in that state, um, you're always pushing. Um, you're what's that, sort of in some ways chasing your tail. So having very clear goals is always attached to understanding where you are and then being able to measure goals is important in sales as well. Um, there's a insidious condition uh, which relates to project management and it's called scope creep. Uh, and what happens in a project, it could be um, a, a building developer, it could be a manufacturer, it could be a software development company. Um, what happens is they create a project, um, they may scope it and quote it, they begin the project and what happens invariably uh, is things pop up during the project that haven't been anticipated for. Stakeholders change, uh, something's come up they didn't think about, um, and what happens is the scope then starts to balloon and incrementally move, the scope expands and someone has to pay for it, which is usually the, the vendor. Uh, so scope creeps are very dangerous, dangerous um, sort of uh, um, negative uh, thing that uh, impacts a lot of uh, projects. So goal setting can be like that. Uh, and I find that it's not often the goal that's unrealistic, it's the time frame attached to the goal, which leads me into a nice little story, Maury, uh, which is about a, um, a gentleman, this is actually a friend of a friend, and he decided that at New Year's he wanted to uh, lose a little bit of weight. So he joined the local gym. When he arrived, second week of January, he uh, couldn't find a car park. So he, a little bit sort of, okay, nonchalantly, he sort of parked around the corner. He then walked to the gym, uh, checked in, and um, talked to the manager. Manager took him round, showed him the different uh, bits of equipment, uh, talked to him about his his what it, what his goals were, and uh, designing a, pro, a program for him. Um, they finished that process. They they got to the end, and um, he said, "Look, I'm not going to train today, but I'll, I'll I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow." And uh, he said, "I've got a quick question for you, Mr. Manager. Uh, is it always this busy? Because there was there was lineups for machines that you couldn't get a car park." And uh, he thought, well, this is going to take me three times as long to train if I'm waiting for equipment. Uh, so based with that thought, he asked the gym manager if it was always this busy. And um, gym manager uh, looked at him and with a cheeky grin, uh, uh, replied, uh, well, no, it's not. Just wait for a month and the gym will be half empty. Now, what the manager was suggesting was that a lot of people at uh, New Year's make a New Year's resolution, which is to lose weight. So they take action, and uh, but it's not the action It's important. It's the, the ability to, to stick to, to the goal, to see it through, which requires being resilient. It re requires discipline. The example of the gym is, is a relevant one to business people because they often set goals. They're often set by external forces, such as a, a general, an AGM. Uh, they're often set by um, whimsical goals that are based on profit projections that have no relevance. They're just based on incremental percentages they have to increase every year. Um, and they're not based on uh, any substance or they're based to impress people. And I find that goals are generally set ambitiously because that makes them exciting. They're not often realistic. And it's, um, it's often the extra time that's required. Um, for instance, when you set a goal, 
I apply a rule called the 2.2 rule, which is uh, based on my experience with project management, working with different teams and setting my own goals, I realized it takes roughly two times longer to achieve a goal than you anticipate, usually because you've set the goal ambitiously. So it's that extra time that usually demotivates and discourages. So setting realistic goals is really important to, to achieving them. It's really important to your own self-motivation, your self-belief, your willingness to, to see the goal through. Um, it's also important that you're building confidence setting goals as well. So um, persistence fundamental to anyone that's setting goals, fundamental to salespeople in terms of growing and developing their own skills and increasing their targets. Uh, I don't often see sales targets going down every year. They're going up. Uh, and that's um, just because business costs more, cost bases increase. Uh, it, and uh, I think from, from my perspective, um, you've got to have a clear and, cons and goals that are measurable. You've got to have a tested process for, for achieving them. And the persistence really comes back to your self-belief and how important that goal is. And if it's not important for it, you won't fight for it. Uh, and I find that um, often the people that achieve goals really, really want them. And I think that's a really important part of persistence that you have that, that, that burning and that inner hunger to, to achieve it. And that'll certainly go a long way to you achieving the goal.